Surprise more. Wonderful start to this program, I swear to God. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> that clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Nah, right in the right here, Nick. It's no badass. I'm telling you, he's out of the boy. I got Optimus Will. He opted in. Back from yep. work. Being a working man. I know, I know. Oh, and dude, it, I thought we were going for a Champions League final when I heard that song start. I was like, here we go. <laughs> oh, he's already. That's good. And then Mr. Matt, <laughs> the one legged wonder. How are you, sir? Um, Hi, how's it going? Congratulations on your Spurgies. Yeah, Thank thank you. The second annual Spurgies went who, very well. Who won Who won the, uh, maybe we'll talk about it a little later. Like, who won the uh, Spurgie of the year? Just for conversation. Tipster. Tipster. Tipster won the two, t Tipster won three awards this year. And then he told uh, you to go kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> This is a little, he's something else, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did he do? So he must have, what did he do? He sent the, something with Canada? I, I, I reached out to Rum and I was like, yo, tipster has been nominated for a few awards. Just want to let you know if, if you could let him know. And she's like, this is what he said. And he told me to move to Canada and look into MAID, which is like medical, like assistance and death or something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where he learned that from. Somebody yeah, else probably. Uh, yeah, because he's hanging around know. those. Maybe a certain Canadian that we know. All the, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had to think there. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing my son's scarf uh, for his team. Um, over here in uh, these bottoms. Um, that's a, a, a tribute to him. He's not. He's off of uh, football until uh, camp, where he goes to Wiesbaden camp for uh, Vehen yeah. for the team. Um. We got a lot in the plate today. Um, we're going to be going over, just stick around. We're going to the completionist thing. We're going over Destiny's divorce, split, if you want to call it that. Uh, we're going over, um, what else are we doing? Uh, we're doing something with uh, Sam Hyde. We'll just put it that way. And uh, yeah. I guess we'll, because I haven't been around, I've been sick, so I haven't been around since uh, um, Hunter Avalon was nearly killed. Hunter Avalon worrying more about people believed him than his brains being sprouted all over the wall, which is really funny <laughs> for me to think I, about. You know, because I, I only seen the thing on Twitter, and I was like, right, okay, it's real. My, my uh, favorite real? part, that's just, yeah. that's just, it's that's 100 scary. Real. It's My favorite part is Hunter's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna get right behind you. Uh huh. Did yeah, he get I'm behind? Did, he, did he get behind her? Did he? I don't remember. Uh, that. It, I'm just, I, I, don't I don't know think, if he actually hid by, behind him, but the way the did. video looks, it looks. But I w if he did, I wouldn't blame him because he's not trying to kill her. He's trying to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know? <laughs> it was shot but, through, though. but I was going to say, this isn't Gears of War. We don't use people's meat shields. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm not going to go as far to say. I'll, I'll, in fact, we'll, we'll just put it off later. Um, mm -hmm. Destiny got cocked. I don't think you can say that. How can you get cocked if your girl is not really yours? <laughs> I don't think you can say that. So stick around if you want to know all my insights on other people's uh, um, relationships. So stick around. But first off, and I kind of got a, I, I, uh, but this is like uh, the Mudahar thing. Lucky for Muda made a fantastic response uh, to the completion drama. Now you have to be kind of up to speed on on this, but I'll I'll, I'll get you up to a little bit. Um. Muda and Carl Jobs, great YouTubers, both of them. Uh, I don't know if accused is the right word, but suggested that the completionist, um, they went one step further because it turns out the guy's been raising money for nine years <laughs> and it's never went to any of the places that he said it would go. I didn't commit to charity for it. I didn't, 
I, if I did, it was an accident. And if you think it was intentional, I'll sue you. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sums it up. Uh, uh, and and I, I had people demanding that I call out uh, on LolCal Podcast uh, Muda for this. And I'm like, well, let's, let's see how this whole thing uh, plays out first. Um, and uh, Muda made a response. Now, before I go any further, I do have some criticism for both Muda and and Carl, all right? And it's really more advice unless you're millionaires like Muda. I don't know about Carl, if he is too. Yeah. Usually when you make these types of journalistic assessments, you have the New York Times backing you. You have uh, something like that. Now, Muda may have the funds to defend himself in a court. My suggestion to you younger YouTubers, if you stumble on something, do not do what Carl and Muda did. I'm not saying what they did was wrong in, unless you intend and can handle going to court. Because what they did in their video is suggest that there was charity fraud. Now we're getting the criminal stuff, right? Now, I think you could say you, could, you think it was, uh, you could present the facts, this could be considered charity fraud. But when you're going up against a bunch of guys, and I just, I keep seeing this like, um, this group of guys at a golf course, a bunch of rich white boys, they might be willing to sue you. And they might, because they may be in court now for something else. They just may go to court all the time. So my suggestion to you, and this is even, because this could be a type of thing, you know, people lose lawsuits all the time when they're right. You know that, right? Right. They do. It happens all the time. So you have to be able to withstand the lawsuit. Now, maybe they can, maybe they made a calculated things. I would not have done what they did. If they said something like what I did with with Mama Max, I think this is charity fraud. I, I think this is charity fraud, right? I think this mm -hmm. is a scam. That's one thing. But they went the next step and detailed why they thought it was and the part that nobody should do, nobody should play lawyer. As smart as Muda is, I don't think that's a wise thing. I don't think that's smart. Objection. Yeah. Don't play lawyer. <laughs> You're not a fucking lawyer. Don't go to other lawyers and other accounts and stuff like that and say, well, these guys said it because then it's just an appeal to uh, authority fallacy. Don't do that unless, unless, A, you, you really feel like you know what you're talking about and you probably don't because you're not a lawyer and B, you're ready to absorb a potential lawsuit. Now, that being said, I want to make it abundantly clear to everybody that I do not, and you're never, you're never going to hear this in any other YouTube person, I don't understand any of this shit. <laughs> I have been, <laughs> I am absolutely dumbfounded, probably because I'm stupid on most of it. I haven't been interested in it because I feared I would look too, like too much of a jackass talking about it. Much too much like a jack. You know why? Because I don't understand it. I had to call up Nick and he had to explain it to me. All right. And I don't know <laughs> if all of it stuck or not. All right. I did the best I could. I always do the best I can, all right? Um, I'm just making a suggestion. You know, I don't think that was wise in their parts, but they may have damn good reasons, but both of them, they may have damn good reasons for doing this. And here's the best part. I think they're right. Now, why do you think they're right if you don't understand what they're talking about? That's a good question. Here's why I think I'm right, or, or they're probably right, okay? Because the allegation that started this thing off, the money didn't go anywhere, absolutely happened, number one. Number two, he made definitive, authoritative, you hear me? A, a yeah. Definitive, authoritative claims that this money was going to a group of charities. And now, after the fact claimed they were waiting for the right moment to avoid certain fees to give it to one charity. The charity that it ended up going to after there was trouble on YouTube is the first dementia charity on the search bar in YouTube. <laughs> so something to you exactly. We can definitively say that he made authoritarian statements for the last nine years. I'm comfortable whether he sues me or not, saying he misled the public. Does that constitute criminal fraud? 
I don't know. I'm too stupid. I'm too dumb. Do I think Numbers it could? Go. Yeah. I remember the first time. The, this is what I think, not what I know. I remember when I was arguing about this with Jay Lee. And he, he, he gave me the argument the money didn't go anywhere. Okay. That looks like a slush fund to me. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if I understand slush funds. I don't know the legalese. I don't know what I'm talking about. But in this little time, 47 years on earth that I've spent, that looks like a slush fund to me. Don't know if it is. Maybe it's not. But we can definitively say the entire point of the original criticisms, aside from Carl and Muda talking about the money wasn't there and all that stuff, because I don't understand that. Here's what I understand. I understand what he said. So I took the part of Muda's video that I thought was most damning, right? And mm -hmm. I'm going to display it for you. Does it constitute charitable fraud? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do I think it does? Yes. Do I think that's what Max might be up to? Yes, but I don't know if it, he's actually breaking any laws. That's what I want to make clear. I don't know. Muda, because he's a lot smarter than me, graduated university, maybe in a better position to do this. But if you're not a lawyer, I don't recommend it. Have I made myself abundantly clear, guys? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Let's and I go see for now it. Why you've got me, and I'm sitting with a Rangers top on, considering the amount of lawyer <laughs> that we went through. Yeah, well, I got a bunch of football jerseys in the back too. So. <laughs> Soccer guys always know. <laughs> Oh, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, yeah, 10 years ago, the amount of stuff we've done with lawyers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, let's see. This is the stuff that I think is the most damning and why I tend to believe uh, Muda and Carl are on the right track. Criminal stuff aside. After they've donated $600,000, I'm more inclined to believe that they could pass any audit from the DOJ or the IRS. But that doesn't exclude any of the charity fraud allegations whatsoever. And what I mean by that is the misleading statements that Gerard made throughout the course of IndieLand and on various podcasts. He briefly touches upon it during this entire response video. Yeah, the way he does it is really funny. Watch this. <laughs> and he uses... Oh, thanks. It's a concerned citizen. I worked in nonprofits professionally. I would have never made the accusation Muda made. Not defending any, but I am not a lawyer and I cannot weigh in. I'm curious to see what your opinion uh, is um, when you wanted... Oh, I fucking... I, can, can uh, even, I missed the last part as well. I missed the it, last part. Okay. No, uh, it's, 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 okay. I'm, uh, uh, let's see. Gerard always been... I'm curious to see what your opinion and wanted to tip you for always making entertaining content. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I, I, I'm just saying I wouldn't have done that, but I can't. I'm too stupid to tell you if they're wrong or not. I'm the only YouTuber on the planet that will tell you I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I don't understand. That doesn't mean, I'm not saying I don't know because I don't know, Muda, that's on you. I don't know. It's just that simple. I don't know. I wouldn't have done it, but for all I know, Muda's right. It is kind of, I mean, okay, buddy. we're talking about American law with a Canadian and Australian. Yeah, that in itself doesn't mean anything. Uh, Jared always cuts business a very underhandedly uh, remaking every single video on the channel. For, for, I don't know about that. I don't know how that plays into it, but I do appreciate the tip. Thank you. So here's Muda. Careful words like potentially misleading or I'm sorry you guys were, you guys felt misled. That's weasel words, by the way. During several recent IndyLand events, press interviews and podcasts, I went on record saying where the money was going to and that the Open Hand Foundation had worked with various organizations. At different points, the foundation had been in communication with or considered several of them, but it was not appropriate for me to make such statements when final actions had not yet been taken. The Open Hand Foundation's goal was to make a large impact by donating the money. So guilty. I mean, <laughs> to me, that's this what this all was ever about. You told people a mistruth and have admitted it again in your response video to Carl and Muda. You admitted it. You told the people the money was going and it didn't. It didn't. That's very damaging. That means you probably shouldn't be involved in charities. I could say that with uh, pretty good authority. And that's it. Anything, if the money didn't go or wasn't there and it was there or what wasn't, whatever. I think it'd be very interesting 
to see if Muda or Carl do get, uh, uh, um, and I think they almost have to sue him at this point. They have to sue Carl and Muda because if they don't, if they don't, everything through Discovery is going to open up when it comes to the open five finger discount <laughs> organization. <laughs> It, it is, because in order to prove them wrong, you're going to have to show your books. If they were fudged in the books, either I had an accident or on purpose, I do not expect a lawsuit. To the right place. And a lot of the conversations that were had with various organizations involved the funds not being restricted or came with extremely high administrative costs. Look, any way you say this, action needed to be taken. And to that point, well, more than that, you got to stop telling people this is not just one year. For the next eight years, you keep telling people it's going here and it doesn't go there. Point. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I am sorry. You know, okay. Good, I guess. <laughs> I was not more straightforward regarding the foundation's timeline for making donations. You weren't. That to me is so deceptive. You're not more straightforward. You were straightforward. You told people it was going to go places. It didn't go. I'm sorry if you didn't understand that I wasn't telling the truth. <laughs> and, and then I made statements potentially implying donations were made when they had not yet been. That's legal talk. Somebody wrote this for him. And I, I get to my conspiracy. Talk, yeah. yeah uh, that, uh, uh, I, it's definitely I made, legal talk because I zoned out. Yeah. <laughs> and then I made statements. I made statements potentially, impl potentially implying donations were made. No. That's actually not true. I guess that what they're going to do is concentrate on the word potential because he was of the understanding that these were going to the places they were. But then he's also admit admitted when he was talking to Carl that he knew that money hadn't moved since 2021. Your Honor, I I want to state that I think this is a whoopsie. <laughs> potentially, <laughs> potentially. See, Your Honor, My had God. the money, had the money gone to the places I said it was going to go, Your Honor, we wouldn't be here talking today. <laughs> your Honor, Your Honor, all I have to say is, uh, oops. Yeah, oops. So, your oh, Honor, oh, I was potentially wrong. I potentially was wrong. I potentially <laughs> made authority. He made a. Authoritative statements that they were going. Authoritative statements. There's no way around it. It's potentially implying donations were made when they had not yet been. It took too long for clear action to occur. Well, I really want you to remember that because I, I have a conspiracy theory. And I apologize for all of this. But such. And I could say, I think I'm not getting in trouble. <laughs> inaction was not done for any selfish or malicious reasons. I want to take this opportunity to apologize to any developers publishers, content creators, and special guests who were involved with the various events. I'm also very sorry to this year's IndieLand sponsor. Their team was incredibly supportive and were a great partner to work with. Most importantly, I want to apologize to anyone who ever donated over the years who felt they were wronged or led astray by any of this. You, you, you just felt that way. It didn't actually happen. The money actually... Well, I, I just said before that the money didn't go where I said it was going to go. So I'm sorry you felt that it didn't go where it was supposed to go. No, it didn't go where it was supposed to go. I don't have to feel anything about it. It's objectively true. It actually didn't happen. I, I don't feel that way. That's not a feeling. That's a reality. My hair's brown. The money didn't go where it was supposed to go. <laughs> you know, it, it's the same thing, you know. You know, I don't feel that my hair is brown. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the actual statements once again. Mm. The statements that he never showed in his... He does look like a psychopath sometimes. Well, you know, your hair could be brown, but yesterday it could have been blonde. Uh, it could have been, so, yeah, potentially. Yeah, you know, potentially. You know, potentially. Who, it could be different. Ah. I'm so sorry your head looks like a tip of a penis. M M um, Muda, when Muda stares at me like that, I feel like I got uh, drunk in Dubai and this guy's pulling fucking money out of my wallet. Jesus Christ, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Original video, and just see how potentially misleading those statements are. Brother and I started a foundation called the Open Hand Foundation that raises money for dementia research and treatment for Open organizations hand. all over the world. Uh, we're soon going to be partnering up with the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, currently working with Open the hand. University of San Francisco, and we're kind of one of their main um, their main funding 
uh, <laughs> support partners uh, going into all of this. And then I made statements potentially <laughs> implying donations <laughs> Ooh, when they had not yet been. Uh, all bits, all donations, all super chats, oh, all YouTube memberships. Oh, basically oh, I'm sorry you felt that all the shit was going where I said it was going. I'm sorry, I am Dari. <laughs> you should have said potentially. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody, potentially all the money is going where I say <laughs> is going. Donate now. What? Yeah. Wait, what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> Anything that's tied to donating or subscribing in a financial way to us is going to charity. We're not touching any of it. Yeah, you weren't kidding about that. <laughs> it's all going for a good cause. Uh, we're gonna have you know what? The charities aren't touching it either. <laughs> great weekend. We have a I lot am, of games. I was going to say, I am duck in the chat made the perfect response to what they should have just done yeah. with all this. What? Tommy, Mortal Kombat. The guy comes in the side, whoopsie, and just goes away. <laughs> whoopsie! <laughs> no, I, that, I am duck. That was for you because I've seen it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made statements potentially implying donations were made when they had not yet been. Uh, all the money goes to the open hand. That gets him out. If he goes to court, he's going to say, well, I mean, he probably thinks he can throw. See, I think he's being thrown on the bus, but I think he said that because he thinks he's going to throw them under the bus if it gets hot. Foundation, an organization that we started in honor of my mom, and all that money goes to Dementia Research. We don't touch any of it. We just work with the people who do need the money, and we help and them. don't give it to them. <laughs> do their thing and then i made statements potentially implying potentially. donations were made when they had not yet been we are raising money for dementia be like, then if you're not responsible who is search and honor my late mom trying to help folks who've been impacted by dementia working with organizations like usf uh uh F ftd association of america uh alzheimer's association of america and so many more and then i made statements potentially implying donations were made when they had not yet been do our own version of that every year and kind of make it a cool celebration of of games and raise money for a, I hate white people that just nod their head and, all the time you, know <laughs> you see that when you get people you look at this crowd you know they're just white people yeah that's me when you go nope. in their head to, 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 to agree, to me. especially to Americans well, they forget <laughs> that's me when you start talking about Connor yeah. You know, charity. I haven't talked about Connor in months. I was going to say, I've not said it for a while. Reset the clock! <laughs> what are you talking about? And so he was like, I wish we had a charity that we could donate to. And I was like, oh, I, I run my own charity called the Open Hand Foundation. And all the money that we aggregate... I mean, I started it when I was a young, a young boy with my dad. The aggregate score is nothing, nothing going into the second game. Nobody's got nothing. <laughs> In honor of my mom who had dementia. And so uh, we just, every year, we try and raise as much money as... It's, it's, you know, it's like nobody's talking about how funny it is that the charity is dementia. They forgot to send the money. <laughs> it's like a fucking bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Why is nobody talking about that? It's the thing can only be on the internet. <laughs> That's possible. I'm come from. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Hey, hear about the dementia charity? We got to get the money. <laughs> well, they have dementia, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's son? a zinger. Is that, is, that, is that you, son? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's me, Dad. You won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me just take that check out of your pocket real quick. Yeah, yeah exactly. It happens. And then we go work with, you know, Alzheimer's Association of America, University of San Francisco, um, Association for FTD, which is what my mom had FTD. So we've like worked with big and small organizations across the board. And he was like, "It'd be." Oh, oh! Did somebody show me something? Oh, let's the completionist. Hold on a second. Is his video is his video still up? The completionist. So many. I gotta see if this is true. I just this was just mentioned to me. And I, I, this makes it sauce. I've only fucking skimmed the video because again I can't understand it. But I want to make sure. Let's see. RRS. RRS. Funny, funny. See, this is all shit that I don't understand. I'm fucking stupid. Unrestricted. Uh, Com Comstock grants. Drug discovery. Blog post. 18 DF unrestricted fund charity termination. 
Tommy's somebody, like, did he fill out a W nine? Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no. Somebody, <laughs> somebody told me. I, I guess it's not true. That he put his mother's like autopsy in here or something. Jesus, what? Or, or is like I guess is her, her her death certificate. Oh I my guess God. that's not true. Fuck it, hell. That a bit. Well, see, th that's the thing. This is the response. So if he did like the whole beginning and the whole and everything in the middle is you know Carl and um Carl and Muda got it wrong without naming <laughs> Tommy. It. No, no fear. Gamer J Lee's in the chat and says, yeah, "I can explain that." Really? <laughs> you could like he he talked about the emotional stuff at the beginning and the end. In the middle, it was a a thing against Muda and a uh, uh, thing against Muda and and um, and Carl, but most of it was emotional arguments. Like, which sends red flags off. Doesn't mean he's wrong. That Devin says right. Oh, oh, here it is! I was right! The autopsy report! No fucking way! I was right! I, like, who, the thanks guy who told me that? I can't remember. We extend our seared thanks to the position of the research programs. So, why uh, is this? Well, you're, said, all right. Uh, so, so he he's, her he's being. Brain. Uh, what's that? She don't, he donated her brain. He, yeah, but cord. this is an emotional thing. Clearly, this is un, he. You know what? They're not accusing them of not donating the the brain. They're accusing them of charity fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! That's wild, man. This is completely unnecessary. God, your mom's brain was fucked up. Holy shit! I'm just again. <laughs> <you know. laughs> <laughs> This is, oh, I'm God, sorry. You, your mom's got a, uh, I'm, I'm, I Whoa! Joke. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know where this joke's going. Uh, does he have the Chris Benoit brain? <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, well. No, this is entirely <laughs> and completely unnecessary. This has nothing to do. Why would you put that? I gotta be honest. I'm gonna tell you. Doesn't prove one thing one way or another. That's a big red flag. And There's consider no holding me back. Gamer J Lee, are you really gonna try to talk yourself out of this? No, no, no. I'm not talking him out of it. But I'm gonna explain why he added that, and I and I think I have a reason for it. Okay. Basically, the situation is is in either Mudahar. It was Mudahar or Carl's video. They brought up the fact that supposedly uh the san francisco place thanked uh gerard or his father for a donation years ago and the donation he's saying was this her is brain it? in spinal cord yes and he's saying this is what they were thanking him for right that's what he's explaining but we don't know one way or another if that's true or not He's just right. saying it's, that's the one they're talking about. Right. right. Okay. Okay. That's, okay. Fair that, enough. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But we don't. We don't know if this. They're trying to say. Hey, see, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, no, I guess. Not, yeah. Did he specifically say this is what they're talking about? No, he did not. Say yeah, that I'm, I'm that's sorry. That's about. a little shady. I, it right. would make no, perfect I sense, that, I guess. I'm trying to put the pieces together. Yeah, I see. No, fair enough. I'm glad you called. Why brought that up? All right, I'm glad you called. All right, thanks, Jay Lee. Oh, dude, I wish I had that sound effect still on the board. Bye, Jay Lee. All right, so there is, there might be a reasonable reason. It's still fucking funny. <laughs> might be a reasonable reason. Ah, right, here we go. Really cool if we did a show all about raising money for people who are making huge headways in, in dementia research and prevention and all that stuff. And I said, yeah, I'd love to. We have the organization to do it. Jesus Christ, it's last month. Oh, yeah, shit. So he knew since 2021, he's still fucking saying that, hold on, let's go back, back, back to the nodding white people. Here we go. Hold on a second. Nodding white people. Watch that again. Huh. Nodding white people. Here we go of games and raise money for a, you know charity and so he was like i wish we had a charity that we could donate to and i was like oh i i run my own charity called the open hand foundation and all the money that we aggregate i've been i started it when i was a young a young boy with my dad in honor of my nine years ago wasn't that young mom who had dementia and so uh 
we just every year we try and raise as much money as possible and then we go work with you know alzheimer's association of america university of san francisco um association for that's damning and and i do i do feel like the whole thing was a big distraction ftd which is what my mom had ftd since our official registration was a foundation we've been elevating potential beneficiaries and this was what written years ago so we've like worked with big and small organizations across the board and he was like it'd be really cool if we did a show all about raising money for people who are making huge headways in in dementia research and prevention and all that stuff and i said yeah i'd love to we have the organization to do it we just you know need to come up with a theme and so yeah i wouldn't say that people were potentially misled after statements as charged as that again looking at the definition of charity fraud fraudulent activity can oh, oh, fucking mood is dying on this hell huh I'm saying don't do this unless you're Muda or a lawyer more more when people make you shouldn't do this even if you're Muda if you ask me but whatever dishonest or nobody gets sued in Canada <laughs> claims about how much money they've raised or how much it's helped the cause <coughs> and one of the common ways is pretending to be a charity or falsely claiming to be affiliated with a legitimate charity in order to solicit donations we actually saw names that were being named I'm surprised why Gerard didn't at least address this point it was the most common it was the heart of the argument which just seems well, he's big, big big distracting it from distracting people from it saying he's he's a fighter and he's not going down without a fight like it was deflected and sure he can say that i apologize to people who felt that they were misled no i i don't think you can say that these are potentially misleading again there is another statement in this that i want to get into but let's look at the other evidence that gerard has posted in his description real quick. The other response that Gerard gives is this one link right under the OHF termination of private status. There's no description to what this is, but opening this piece of evidence, it's the IRS extend time to assess excise taxes, which again is all related to the Open Hand Foundation being the taxpayer of, I guess, whatever redacted area this is. And again, this is the amount of liability for chapter 42 excise tax imposed on the tax. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> taxpayer by section 4940 or 4945 really? of the Internal Revenue Code during the period January 1st, 2016 to 2020. Anytime I ever do document names when I had to in the army. <laughs> may be assessed at any time on or before May 5th, 2025. So again, this is page two of two, and there's not actually a first page that I can see. What does this provide? Even watching Gerard's response video and scrubbing all the way through it like 10 times, I could not find this exact receipt shown. He put it in the description. I ask, what the fuck is it even there for? Cool, you asked for a consent to extend the time to assess- I'll tell you what it's there for. When you, put, when you say you have receipts and you flash something that looks like this on the screen, nobody's reading it anyway. <laughs> Miscellaneous excise taxes. That's great. Oh, it I seems like- I don't even care. Yeah. Yeah, that's- uh, I, I, I just look at that and go, oh, are you okay that you've got a receipt? Yeah, yeah, hold on a sec. I got an ID. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Watch this. Yeah. Let's, let's say I'm being accused of something. We'll try this. Hold on. <laughs> I, got an idea. I got an idea here. Hold on. Ooh, I'm an artist. Let's see. Okay. All right. Here we go. I got receipts. Don't worry. You got your receipts? So you cover Tommy. I got receipts. Don't worry. We're covered, people. We're covered. We've got the receipts. Tommy's going to show you them. Yeah. Everything's cool. Everything's yeah. cool. Yeah, everything. everything's going to be cool. I got plenty of receipts. Because can you imagine <coughs> me making a video defending myself mm -hmm. and saying, listen, everything you're hearing about me is wrong. Here's the proof. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. And what that guy said was wrong, too. There you go. Uh, <laughs> wow, he's got receipts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't sleep with that hooker. See? There you go. <laughs> right, just fine, folks. Move along. Move along. Smile and wave. <laughs> no, I'm not under uh, investigation for sex crimes. See? There you go. <laughs> 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 Matt Pitt's got two legs. There you go. <laughs> Good one. All right, back back to the potentially. To the, potentially. 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 <laughs> potentially. <laughs> you filed some continuation. 
Again, what relevance does this have to the public-private charity? It just exists there to exist. Then, of course, he provided the last piece of evidence, which, again, from his end, is the OHF audit. So here you can read that they've gotten this audit stamped, and again, April 12, 2016. What's important is they're literally looking at tax periods ending December 31st, 2014. Dear sir or madam, based on our audit of the tax periods listed above, you continue to qualify for exemption from federal incomes tax. I that was my microphone. It's his fucking hitting his desk. Under section 501c3 of the IRC. What bearing this has to the question of... You know, look, you look at it on the switches and fucking joysticks and video games around. If I didn't know, like, how smart Muda was, I would think he's just a fucking stupid-ass dork. You know, doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> the uh, Why? Because there's too many video game things around. The charitable foundation after 2014? It makes no sense. Yeah, you were cool before 2014. I can actually acknowledge it because the IRS claims that based on their audit for the tax period... December 31st, 2014, that's when they ended assessing. You're good in gravy. And at the end of the day, even if they had a 2022 <laughs> tax period ended, it would have yeah. absolutely quelled Stop me personally me. <laughs> when it comes to wondering about the money and me. the finances. Because an audit literally just proves that the money was absolutely moved around properly. All right, I'm done with this. I'm too stupid for this. All right. Now yeah, on, I'm, I'm in on, Pluto right now. On my, on my, yeah. Here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. Here. Well, it really does pick up everything, this fucking mic. It does? Yeah. Guys, scratch. Can you hear me scratching my nuts? Hold on. Did you hear that? About, yes. Yes. A little bit. No, I'm not really scratching my nuts, you fucking liar. But you're scratching your leg or something. Yeah, in yeah. It, but you're scratching the chair. I can feel that. <laughs> really? Can you really? I'm going to do something about that. I dude, I, but did you just tell me you were scratching your nuts like sort of he just showed us <laughs> the, the tax return, so I believe it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I have trouble believing that he wasn't put up to that. Why would you double down on the main thing? I think somebody put him up to that and he's stupid and went through with it because they figured, look, cops go after the big dog. Or my brother was like, I was with my brother. Or somebody's telling me like, like, I'll give you an example. La Cosa Nostra is not the gang they were. And like busting them is not as important as it was, let's say, 20, 30 years ago. 30 or 40 years ago, really. Right? But if you're an FBI agent, a young one, you get an LCN guy, that's going to get you promoted. Remember what I told you? Lawyers only mm -hmm. go do what they have to. If they go after anybody, they're going after him. And they have yep. him on tape once and even in a response, doubling down on the fact that the charities didn't go where I said they were gonna go. That's un indisputable. I'm thinking, this is my theory, that the open hand, whoever's in charge of it, and I heard it's even his dad, wouldn't shock me, by the way. People are fucked <laughs> up, even families. It wouldn't shock me a bit if he was put up to that because they think he'll target him first. And not whatever the f if there is something crooked going on there, and not the people that are actually doing crooked ass shit, because nobody cares about a bunch of golfing white boy asshole buddies. So, they care oh. about the public cares about the figurehead, and I wonder why would they have him admit that again? Here's what I think they're trying to do: they're trying to scare Muda and, and Carl, <laughs> not knowing that they might both be millionaires themselves, and hope the whole thing goes away. If it does blow up. Mr. fucking Jared will get his because he's admitted it not once, but twice. And authoritatively, 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 I can't even talk, I can't talk. Um, the second time, my that's what I think. I think he got fucking thrown under the bus and he doesn't even know it. And that's if, you know, we, we've seen things where before, like, on YouTube. Oh, the FTC is going to come get you. Defend your love affair with Tobes. I will. See, it it didn't happen. <laughs> well, Tommy, I was going to say, I think what you're saying is that open hand foundation hand stayed open a little yeah. too long, you know? <laughs> I feel like you're trying to protect their little fucking thing over here. That's what mm. it feels like. Time to, I, time to close your hand, buddy. You know? My point is, if they cops go ahead, they're probably going after Jared, right? More than likely, because you want that's what gets in the paper. That's what gets you fucking promoted. 
right, if things cro crooked from the top down. I think what they're hoping for, they sent him to do that, hoping that Muda and Carl would shut up. Clearly, that was a miscalculation. They haven't shut up. And uh, Jared had a good <laughs> ratio in his video. And Muda, uh, you're not funny. Give up. What do you mean? I got the proof right here. I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. I got receipts. <laughs> you know, um, and 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 that's the uh, um, and that's what I think may have happened. I don't know that for a fact. I have no idea. Maybe everybody's just really incompetent over there. But I just I saw those fucking guys uh, at the golf course, and they look shady to me. <laughs> and that's just <laughs> what my Jersey sense is telling me. Um, we got something really funny for you. <laughs> what do we got? I was talking to Jay Lee. Well, I wasn't talking to Jay Lee. Here's the proof. <laughs> <laughs> Style and wave, boys. Style and wave. There you go. All right. Now, I, I heard this. I, I stole this from Chud Logic. I've been watching a lot of Chud Logic. I suggest you guys do do it too. Oh, shit. Um, apparently, um, Josh Null from QB Farms is has found uh, some damning evidence about. Sam Hyde, in his words, not mine, of uh, being a, uh, a pedophile. And I, I guess he had this person call in and talk about their experience with Sam Hyde. And this is how it went. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle the fuck up. And if you're driving or something like that, pull over. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully. Is this I, I okay listen if you're assuming that she's fucking with me let me explain she posted her id she posted a bunch of documents i have like all of her rental agreements with sam hyde and mde i have her oh my gosh she's trying to signal again somebody wrote is this a cam whore <laughs> <laughs> someone jacked her phone this is going to be a little they're probably going to be talking over this a lot there's this but it's totally worth it i didn't I kind of had this idea at the last minute. So, uh, you know, Josh doesn't run a stream like a show. He's just runs it like a regular stream. And, uh, I guess he's trying to get a hold of the girl that's got the goods on Sam. That's, that's, that is the plan. Time is ticking down. So I know this thing's going. No, it's, 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 it's going to be good, I promise. I promise, I promise. It's not what you think already, Optimus. It's not. I swear to God. Because I'm, I'm instantly thinking back to the, <coughs> yes. the, the video. Yes, that's what I'm and going. And we're, okay, it's a, so, I wonder. Uh, please. I wonder if that's a possibility. Right. I don't know that for a fact, no, but uh, that has crossed my mind. I'm Josh. I run a website called the Kiwi Farms. And this is Channing Crager. She says that she's worked with NDE and Sam Hyde for eight years. Is that right? Nine years. All right, sorry, I got you. Um, so, yeah, just introduce yourself. How did you meet Sam? Uh, on, um, I'm very embarrassing. I met him on, uh, oh my god, on, uh, <laughs> so embarrassing. I met Sam Hyde on OK Cupid. Okay, hmm? does, it, does, it, what, does his profile stand out to you? How, how old was he when you met him? Just as a context. He was, was 32, and I was uh, two years younger than him. <laughs> oh, what? Is <laughs> Bill, Bill Cosby just slept her out a, a, a roof or something? I don't like, know. So she was 29, 30? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. That's the mean new thing. Maybe she's reporting for somebody else, I guess. Okay. And he worked with him for for nine years. Or so. I'm going to say before somebody else does, I'm going to beat to the punch. I think we found Mama JF, everybody. <laughs> so he's, uh, is he in his 40s now? Yes. Okay. Um, how did you get into his business? Uh, because I was very good at uh, doing everything I need, um, and I will show. Except for talking. Uh, I made um beautiful. Uh... 
So this is like a serious investigation for, for Josh. And a lot of people are thinking maybe Sam put this chick up to it. I don't know. That, but he says he's got all. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, he's got everything. He says he's got all the, the goods and stuff. Um, Josh says he's got it all. But this 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 is not the way he expected it to go. The, the Mama GF thing, though, I, I see you're coming because it sounds it, but she's very slow. Yeah. Whereas Mama GF was very, like, just and 100 loud. miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I can need picture it. that. It's, it's, this is good. This, it, it doesn't stop getting good, by the way. This woman is like uh, an angry slug in couples had a baby. Um, <laughs> yes. People uh, doing stuff. Uh... <laughs> What's a kid, Josh? <laughs> Christmas. Oh, uh, yeah. Christmas example. Christmas example. What a Christmas example. What? That's what I was thinking. Oh, uh, it's Christmas <laughs> example, and uh, I don't know after that. <laughs> okay. Out of curiosity, um, we've been talking for about two weeks now, mm -hmm. and throughout that yeah, time, yeah, we've been talking for a long time, by the way. Yeah, for about two weeks, we've chatted uh, to mm -hmm. get ready for the stream, and uh, hey, Josh, I'm trying to be your girlfriend, maybe. <laughs> 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 what did you take before we called? Because you were not. Like, no, no you definitely nothing. Took said, "What did you take before he called?" That mm -hmm. makes me think Sam's maybe involved. Yeah. That makes yeah. me think Sam's maybe. That's nothing. why. I, I that's take... what I was thinking. It yeah. was going. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> that's obviously I a do... lie, though. No, 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 I do have some uh, Christmas. Uh, uh, Christmas mushrooms. <laughs> so you took. I haven't. I've never done mushrooms. Is that what it does to you? I just, this sounds like uh, opioids. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. this sounds. This, 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 there's a draw to her, you know. Somebody wrote here. This is surreal. It is it really psychedelic is. mushrooms before, you, like an hour before stream, because you we were we were sending <laughs> no, messages no, I for. Didn't, this, I didn't see, take. Oh. I didn't take those. That's I obviously a lie, those. though. No, no, I didn't take those. I gave them to my friends, and I'm ready to do the streams and explain everything. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Well, there's no. I mean, there's no point continuing because you're obviously fucked up on something. And what's what's really oh, sad I'm is that up on people are going anything. to assume that this is like no, something I'm that not, Sam Hyde I'm put you put somebody up, up to. Anything. And I've seen your ID, them. I've seen your rental agreements, I've seen all your paperwork, so I know that this is the real person. You come up completely fucked up. I'm not fucked up on anything, bro. <laughs> I'm not fucked up on anything. Everybody in a, everybody listening to this, there's like a thousand plus people listening to this, and they're all, I mean, every, every single person can tell. I don't even know why you would, would you try to lie about that, because you can just tell. Like, I'm your messages became nonsensical about 45 minutes ago, so you obviously took, like, a oh. handful of Xanax or something and before you came on stream. Oh. She's... Tommy, pause real quick. Xanax? Who? Who? She's definitely talking with her eyes closed. Like, yeah, she's yeah, nodding, oh, yeah. She's you can nodding hear back. Yeah. 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 You can tell. You think I took Xanax? Bro, you think... Uh, I did heroin. I fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> The needle still in the arm, Josh. It's still in the arm. <laughs> yeah, I took Xanax. What's really unfortunate is that if there is, like, I'm not my point Xanax. in talking to you is that I wanted to to know if there was any validity to a serious accusation. This is why you don't do serious YouTube drama, especially. This is why Tommy has abandoned. Um, the journalism aspect of this. And if there is any validity... You're hearing it right. I never get my pants caught down like this again. You know? yeah. and, and for all I know, I'm not like... For all I know, Josh is telling the truth, but this is the Listen, problem with doing head. this stuff online. And by the way, by the way, by the way, I've gotten shit wrong before and fucked up, and, and fucked up stuff. Um, like, I fucked up the thing with, with Pyro, so I'm never doing it again. You have completely fucked this up for the people that Sam... Hurt. That's you true. like tried to rope in a bunch of other people who I can't even talk about now because uh, like three different people have showed ID oh, to try and uh, arrange this. Something. I can't believe three people showed ID to Josh. <laughs> it's crazy to me. It's motherfuckers are like that. That's not me. <laughs> and I didn't do that. 
on the like on the reel. Would it be funny if it was the same girl that he hired to fool eye doves? Yeah, and that's what I was oh, thinking. And she's an a yeah. and she's an actress. And the, the voice sounds similar. I gotta be honest with you. I do. Because that girl was a pro, an yeah. absolute pro. She's an artist. I mean, literally an artist. She's that, you know, she's amazing. Had Idubs hooked line and sinker. Oh God, she probably would have fooled me too. I thought about it. I probably got fooled too. No. Do that. I didn't do anything on the real. On the real. What oh. is she? Is she American? Because she sounds Swedish. It's weird. Sure. <laughs> it's so hard to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's talking in a European accent. It's weird. Sure? I, think I don't even know what to ask you because it's like you can't describe. I asked you the very first thing. But how did you get into MDE from meeting Sam Heidel, Sam Heidel and OK Cupid? And you can't describe that. You said something about Christmas. Well, I will talk about it in the next. She also said she was twenty nine. <laughs> segment. <laughs> I will talk about it in the next segment. And I wish I didn't have to do that, but I will. I will talk about it. What segment? What, why? Just explain <laughs> how you went from meeting Sam Hyde to getting into MDE. I, uh, I talked to Sam Hyde very heavy. Very heavy. You know, I can say I've never felt bad for Josh. Who is that? I know it's, it's a weird bad. thing in your apartment. <laughs> yeah. with you, cause when the, like, cause like Josh is a gangster, you know, yeah. and this is like something that would happen to like Colton. You know? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, oh, you <laughs> I could hear somebody walking around. Who is that? Uh, you don't know those people. That's no I association. With, with anything yeah, I can't tell you those people like those are other people like I can't tell you call me the my drug dealers they'll give me the heroines yeah those are other people sorry sorry it's other people I love you Josh by the way what the fuck? Like, how, how fucking embarrassing to do this like <laughs> you were obviously lucid in the last like two weeks and like it's not, right before it's not embarrassing it's not embarrassing for me it's uh i uh i i do agree with uh being part of md well we know if she's taken advantage of she was pretty easy to do it <laughs> 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 That's not what I mean. I mean, you're being boys. Up. Oh, it's, it's, it's so frustrating because oh, people are going to assume mean. that I just picked up like a crisis actor off the fucking street who yeah, Sam Hyde paid to do this on stream. And I have like, I have photocopies of your ID and shit. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, great answer. Jesus. You, do, do you think? Um, do you think he just turned into a ghost? Do you think she got? Do you think? I mean, J J you know, Sam Hyde's got the money to probably get a good fake ID and get documents. Yeah, well, yeah, I can yeah, see yeah. that. I, yeah. I, I could also see this being real, and she got really nervous, so she popped. And then she did him on pills, so thinking about yeah, relaxer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I could see her getting nervous, popping a lot of pills, and being full of shit before she popped the pills, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she sense. knew. <laughs> somebody, somebody, yeah. <laughs> no, man, I love you. Yeah, yeah, that's my Jersey <laughs> sense. I grew up with that fucking stupid junkies. It's half the reason I joined the army to get away from them. We come from... I just, I honestly, I just want to know what you took before you, you got on, because it was like in the last hour that whatever you, you binged on was, was taken because you were able to form I a sentence like an hour ago. I didn't binge on anything. I just, uh, I just, uh, had some, uh, Irish. Okay. Food. Just had some All Irish. Right. Well, thank you for talking to me. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was Channing Abort. Prager, the person who has been posting infographics about Sam Hyde being a pedophile on poll for the last five years. I hope you have found this conversation informative. Uh, have a great night. I'm nope. going to bed. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, yeah, it is unfortunate if Sam Hyde's running around oh. listing women, but uh, that didn't convince me. <laughs> no. Fish oh, tank is saved. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what to think of that. He's, Sam has had a lot of allegation with being younger girls for a long time now, right? Yeah, I think we covered it once hmm. in a few, like a year I thought, or so I thought it was bullshit. We, we yeah, covered uh, sure. Lieutenant... Uh, um, Lieutenant Cobra. Co 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 Corbis. Corbis. Uh, Corbis. So, here's what's happened. Mm. I, um... Sorry. Mm. The Corbis, which her thing sounded like, like schizophrenic bullshit, too. Yeah. I don't know if he did or he didn't, but, uh... Um... I'm leaning towards didn't now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I, 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 after the, the I Dobbs video, yes, I can totally picture that's an actress. I could, I um, could see it, but you know, Matt, you yeah. know, simply Occam's Razor fucking Matt's right, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah, there's so many ways you look at this that you <laughs> you would never know the truth. We could have just found Mama JF and yeah. <laughs> whatever happened when she fell off the bridge. Her yeah. brain slowed down for a split second. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Allegedly. <laughs> no. So I guess I had to talk about Hunter Avalon. I finally, finally said I was going to talk is that something beginning, and I remembered to do it at the end. Hooray! It might be the first time in history of this show, <laughs> to be perfectly honest <laughs> with you. So uh, if anybody, uh, put a one in the chat if, if you saw my appearance on um chud logic on this very topic because i think i called him thursday or friday but be honest so it's only mickey vicky you, you watch a chud logic logic thing matt yeah i think he clipped it right i'm pretty sure i watched oh, he it did. on this particular thing on on hunter avalon on maybe i maybe i'm thinking of the other one you called yeah, him before probably, where you were like was, breathing really hard i'm probably thinking the same thing okay buddy. so i saw what happened to hunter avalon i'm not going to play it for obvious reasons. Sorry, I didn't see it. Well, DM King, you're banned. Um, <laughs> uh, so I, I basically what happened is Hunter Avalon comes with the camera. He shows a girl's leg who's bleeding. It was blurred when I saw it. I didn't see the uncensored version. And he appears to be on a balcony uh, of some sorts and whips out a phone and basically tells it that her ex-boyfriend is downstairs with a shotgun, fired through the wall, hit her in the leg. And they're both on a balcony, uh, hoping he doesn't come out. And then you can kind of hear in the background, cops, show me your hands, show me your hands, show me your hands. Then you hear a volley of what sounds like uh, nine millimeter rounds to me. Yeah. And the video ends. Mm -hmm. it's, it turns out um, this is not a joke that this really happened. Apparently this guy put some kind of tracking device in one of her bags. And I guess when she yeah. found it, uh, that's when he came over to kill Hunter. And I'm not saying that, like, facetiously. Like, he came... No, he was going to kill her. He was yeah, going no, to kill was, Hunter. Kill him. He was going to kill Hunter. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. In fact, there's some really weird text messages going back and forth, and she's saying, look, I'm, I'm bleeding, I'm losing blood. And I he sent said, that to you, Tommy, if you, you want to read it. sent that to me? Hang on a second. Yeah. Um, yeah she it's so bleeding. fucking weird. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Like, I can put that and on. And honestly, kind of funny. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> you really? Jesus, you people are fucking crazy. Why, why do I hang out with you people? I don't know why. <laughs> well, it's just one part that's funny. Yeah, can the... I read it? Can yeah, I read sure. it? Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so the girl says, please surrender. I am losing a lot of blood. And then the guy says, I never meant for that. No! God damn it. Leave him, please. And the girl says, only if you surrender. And he says, I will. Just live your life for yourself. I should have killed the coward. <laughs> See, the part where he says, no! It's, it's literally, it's like Four, mm. uh, four O's. <laughs> no! And that's him with her, I guess. The... Yeah, yeah. That's their text exchange after he had shot into the no apartment and hit her. Fucking <laughs> oh, God. So, he put an Apple AirTag in the luggage to track her on the trip. Wow, he keeps texting her after she, wow, with a shotgun. Now, now, here's the thing. When I saw this, all right, I wasn't in Tommy C mode. I wasn't looking to perform for anybody or crack jokes. And Chud, I consider him no longer, seems to be like more of a grown up than me. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that I'd be myself 
and go on the show. And the first thing I said, which seemed to bore the pants off of everybody, is I'm really glad Hunter's alive. He's very lucky to be alive. People took that as, oh, poor Hunter. No. And there's plenty to criticize. Like, me and Chud both agree that <laughs> the, just the fact that he brought out the video, she must have been broken on with because he, uh, because he uh, types Comic Sans like a loop. <laughs> <laughs> Bond. Bond. You guys are funnier than me. All right. So I basically said, and I am, this is the truth. I'm glad, look, whatever Hunter is or he isn't, I know he's a complete douchebag and a fucking switches political positions, whatever works for YouTube, and he's more worried about being an influencer. And clearly, he would have, he was more worried about Ethan Routh not believing him than the fucking, you know, the, the pellets that would have put his brains below the balcony. Um, he was a lot more concerned with that. So I called in, tried to change the subject a little, and I basically said, look, I'm really glad he's alive. Um, I really think there's something wrong with our society when people care about their social media positions more than their own lives. I mean, this is a very serious situation that could have ended in more bloodshed, and thank God it didn't. And everybody's like, fuck you, Tommy C! Because they wanted me to do this, because there was two Twitter things going on. There was the uh, experts in domestic violence, um, virtue signaling. I wasn't ever going to be that guy. And then there were the other fucking idiots. Man, if I was there, I'd have blew that motherfucker away with my AK and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, all right? No, <laughs> And I'm not, and the other ones that he put himself behind her? I don't know, they were both ducking out in a balcony. Um, I do think he probably should have been thinking about making his last stand. Uh, maybe even using that phone as a weapon. Um, and thinking about her safety first, rather than fucking filming. But that's that was the reason I called in. What makes people think more about their online presence than their own lives and then their partner's lives. But everybody was like, ah, they wanted me to be like the right wing idiot and say, or, or like the military. So here's what I would have done. I would have fucking done, dug a hasty, took a fucking position against the wall. And, I, and here's the thing my, with my little military experience. If you are unarmed on a balcony and someone's coming in with a shotgun, there's nothing you can do. You're <laughs> fucked. So even if he's a bad motherfucker, the best case scenario, the best case is if he were to stick that barrel through an area and he could lift it, that's it. And you know what's going to add? That's going to turn into pellets in somebody's body somewhere. So there's nothing, all you right-wing maniacs, all you guys that say he's a pussy, hey, maybe he is. There's nothing he could have done. Nothing. Nothing. Even Rant. Look, look, look. A, like, I remember Bruce Lee, right? He didn't want to do this scene against a, a samurai because he thought it was ridiculous for an unarmed man to take out a samurai. Guess what? It is. He had to be convinced to do a fight scene with a samurai. And he killed him in the most fucking ridiculous way possible. The sword got tossed in the air and he pulled his head down while he went through his back. Because <laughs> it's in the movies. It's not fucking real. Bruce Lee versus Samurai is the same result as Bruce Lee against an AK-47. <laughs> you know? It's I don't know, dude. He could have ricocheted dead bullets with a nunchuck if it was Bruce Lee. But they're, they're on calling me a rambling Andy. And I thought, like, and even I think... I think what's his name was a little disappointed that I wasn't more combative, you know. And they're like, he kept saying, "Well, you seem really." Because last time I called him was over Mama Max, which I was really upset about. Yeah. And I wasn't upset over this because what the fuck do I care about Hunter Avalon? I wanted to have a discussion about social media and 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 how it has effect on our society. And he's like, "What the fuck? We do drama here, asshole." <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> 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 no, all, the fans are mad at me. It's fucking funny. So it is pretty funny watching Hunter debate people on Twitter about this shit. Like, that was he just the other right thing. back to social he media. He would go right like he, his life just passed, and he's thinking this is a great career thing for me. It's it's very clear. Yeah. <laughs> that's on, but that's what fascinates me. Not that he's a lefty. Not that he was a righty. Switch. Not that he was the GamerGate sub. Nothing. 
What makes him value the debates and his online presence more than his life? I thought that was fascinating. Nobody yeah. else did. They wanted me to call him a pussy or talk about domestic violence. You know, we all should take a lesson from this, from domestic violence, because these things happen all the time, and we have to stand for women. What good would that have done you if your brains got blown out by about 50 fucking pellets? Nothing! They're both sides are nuts. And I'm not trying to say like I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm not. I'm a right leaning guy. But this is stupid. It's stupid conversation. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I was not going to do it. No way. I mean, uh, uh, another way you can look at it, Tommy, as well, um, according to some folk, like even against um, <laughs> like violence against women, he did hide behind her, according to some folk. So she was getting the blunt of it anyhow. <laughs> I had to mention Gamergate. He was involved in it, you kook. <laughs> Go ahead, finish up. <laughs> no, what I what I was gonna say is uh this is uh this is not a thing against Hunter. This is a thing against Zoomer culture. Yeah. Uh, I think the girl. Maybe. The girl he's like thirty, isn't he? The girl He's thirty. Yeah, well I'm talking about yeah. no, I'm talking about the girl. I'm talking about yeah. the girl. The girl, the girl okay. gets shot in the leg. She goes in on Twitter and she's like using like sad face emojis <laughs> to talk about it. And That's I'm just right. like so, I'm like, what so the right. like what the fuck is this? <laughs> like you just got shot. I don't get it. What, like, what's with the emojis? I, it's just, I, I don't understand. You know what I would have done if I found out that fuck killed himself? If I was Hunter, I would have dashed outside. Here. Gotcha, bitch! I got the girl! You're dead! <laughs> 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 That's what I would have done. All right? You happy? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, imagine geez. imagine if I DM'd you, Tommy, when my mom died. I was like, hey, Tommy, My mom, mom died. Sad face. Face. Sad face. Sad face, like, <laughs> like crying face. I wouldn't face. have believed like, you. I would think, what? What the fuck? <laughs> like crying face. Is this my a mom. bit? This is what we're doing for the show? <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. All right, everybody. I, I, I don't know what oh. else to say. You know what it is? And this is why extremists do well on my extreme opinions. Not necessarily extremists, extremists, but extreme opinions. Uh, it, it's like people want to be, like, on a side. You know, yeah. that's why I don't grow because I'm, I do my, like most people are like me. They're pretty fucking normal and they have normal takes. Hunter did everything wrong. He should have plugged in his Patreon and spoke his voice. Hey guys, speaking of not growing, we got only nine likes on the stream right now. Hit that like button. Yeah, yeah, give me the okay. like button. And hey, listen, if you yeah. like what we're doing, you haven't been here before, I'd really, really appreciate it if you subbed. That'd be good. We're, we're, we're growing. We're growing. Maybe we'll hit that 50K and probably, who knows, maybe this is the last chance we'll get to do it. Um, <laughs> uh, so, final season, everyone. Final season, remember? Mm -hmm, final season, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, um, oh, my fucking YouTube didn't load. There's actually 87 likes. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, do it again. No, I was agreeing, Matt. I was agreeing with you because I've not reloaded my YouTube since those yeah, nine it likes. Didn't, it, didn't, yeah, it, didn't, <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was like nine the whole time. Mm. Yeah, so sitting at nine. <laughs> But Matt doesn't lie. He doesn't lie. He never lies all the time. No, he never lies. <laughs> I'm sorry if you felt misled. <laughs> <laughs> potentially, sorry, I do not lie. <laughs> potentially, he didn't lie. Potentially, he potentially didn't know it. You know? But, well, He's sorry he never took to Twitter to put sad face emojis about the like, mm. the, the like ratio. <laughs> potentially, Destiny didn't get cucked by a oh. gay Swedish man. Also, yeah, sub and oh. listen. If you're having trouble getting the no notifications, what I do is I unsub, resub, and bell. Uh, so don't ever complain about doing that. That's, I do it with Shut all my point, favorite bitch. YouTubers in one time. And that's what you can do right now. Last thing I want to talk about is I wasn't really comfortable talking about this at first, um, but like I, I, I see it, it, it's similar the reactions to it. Um, everybody's like. Uh, because Destiny's uh, girlfriend left them, or wife. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, see, the, the fucking uh, open relationships don't work. And, oh, look, at you, you got cucked. And my thing is, how do you get cucked when she's not really your girl to begin with? <laughs> I mean, like, I, like, like, I, I don't know. Like, first of all, I, I didn't celebrate over Destiny's girlfriend leaving him. Um, because why? Uh, uh, and I don't. I'm not even saddened for a divorce or for a, 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 a marriage breaking up, which I normally am because I've been through that and it really, really sucks. And I don't wish that on Destiny. I absolutely don't. But call me crazy if the wife is blowing the gardener and the husband's 
uh, banging hookers every Wednesday. I think that's more of a marriage than what the fuck Destiny had. I don't believe in in open marriages. If they work for you, hey, great. That's that's great. And I didn't ever did, was Destiny like kind of selling or promoting open marriage. And I know that that side of the political uh, spectrum kind of uh, believe in that. I don't. I didn't Shut see him as a proponent bitch. of open marriages. Was he? Is that? I don't. Fair? I don't know. I don't watch him enough to really. Yeah, I don't think I don't so. Think I just proponent. think he does his thing. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't remember him saying that. If he did, I, he did, but I don't but remember it because I, I, I know like, you would have, like, you would have laughed at least. I, I, I would say I, he's a proponent, he was a proponent of uh, almost ruining his life by dentally, uh, dating mentally ill. Yeah, I know. Yes. Time. yes. Well, I heard he lost her under the same circumstances he got her. That's what I heard too. Which is not a surprise yeah. to me because, like, you take, like, what, Kathy Lee Griffith, she's married to that football player. Um, yeah. you know, back in the day and she was always being super Christian and, and running around saying how, you know, what a good a marriage it was. And he was fucking asking girls how much anal cost and they caught him on tape. I remember that. Um, the, the Giffer, um, whatever his name was, uh, the football player, he's dead now. Um, yeah, like, like, yeah. And she, cause he lost her, like he was cheating. He was cheating on his wife to be with his mistress. He married his mistress, and now he's cheating on the mistress that's now the wife. That's not a surprise. That's just the way things go. Uh, it's some, uh, is it Frank Frank Gifford? Is the... Frank Gifford. Yeah, he's a great football player. Like, amazing. Yeah. Hall of Fame, you know. Um, before my time, but from everything... Bo Jackson. <laughs> 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 mm. So I'm going to piss off a lot of liberals now. Because it, it, This is the way I feel. If it works for you, that's great. I'm kind of libertarian like that, whatever it goes. Uh, open marriages aren't marriages. So when they leave, you lost your girlfriend. That's the way I feel about it. But to, it, it, it really, I hate, I got bad news for all the righties and the people that hate open marriages. It doesn't, just because something happened to destiny doesn't prove anything. You know, me personally. Yeah. yeah if, if, cause it's like this, like, how do you break your promise when you never had one to begin with? <laughs> you know, it's like, doesn't make any sense to me. She's bad as fuck, Tommy. What a, a ways to lose. I don't know. Oh, she's oh she's bad. Well, we got the banger then. At least you got the fucker in the ass. To quote a famous YouTuber, <laughs> died you know, I mean, great. You know, but I don't consider that a marriage. I consider two people cheating on each other more of a marriage because at least like there's a promise and you can always like correct it. it like if you're doing what she did, then yeah. Like people, like is she was she in her twenties or thirties? Okay, was she your twentieth or thirtieth? Uh, she was. I. It was in nineteen eighty six. So when they married, eighty six. Yeah. What are they fucking fifty five? Eighty five? Are we talking about Kathleen Lee Gibbard? When, no, no, no. Were, they... <coughs> Excuse me, Destiny's girlfriend. How old is she? Oh, oh Destiny. Oh, early twenties, twenties, twenties. You're twenty, of course. Sorry, I was like googling Kathy Lee. You really? I, I got to be honest with you, and it's probably because everything's fucked up now. You really don't become an adult till you're thirty, and because you don't even know what you fuck you want. Yeah. Right, because the way yeah. we're all raised in the West, West, unless you're like fuck, a fucking street kid or something, have to fend for yourself, which most people in the West don't have to do. Um, you really, you don't have to grow up. You don't grow up in high school. You don't fucking have any responsibility in in college other than to graduate. Um, and you, you might have a job and you take it. You have no responsibility. You have nothing. So you, you have no idea what life is with a wife and a child and, and things of that nature. And thank God there was no children involved in this. So it's just like, why not? Like, and now you have a marriage where you can fuck who you want. Like, there's no walls. There's no barriers there. So of course she left. Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah. yeah. If it could just have easily been him. So no, I don't believe in open marriages. And, um, I think you cheat. <laughs> like, cheat? You're better off. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because at least with, if, like, because here's the thing, I've said this all the time too. I remember, um, what's her name got really mad at me. Like, most marriages pay, fail, most marriages have affairs uh, at some point. At least you have something to work with. Let's say something like that happens. Um, and I don't call guys cucks that do this, and I don't call girls cucks that do this. Sometimes people have a, an affair and they repair it and they move on. And I, who am I to stop them? You know, and but I don't, I don't think this is good or healthy because. There's no walls. There's no barriers. And I think everybody needs, like, like some barriers are good. They're not all bad. They're not all negative, right? And at the same time, if you want an open marriage, you can pull it off. Go. Do I yeah. speak from experience? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm banging hoes left and right. Oh, okay. mm. 
There you go. But if she finds out, I ask for forgiveness and rebuild the marriage. Like, fucking that Destiny's bitch is gone. <laughs> hey, by the way, the girl the girl is now tweeting out like uh, uh, like uh, highlights of uh, the guy that tried to kill her uh, oh. new boyfriend. Uh, uh, Hunter Avalon's girlfriend. Hunter, Hunter's is tweeting out. Hunter, yeah, yeah, he's right. Hunter's yeah, having a rough year. Mm. Yeah, she's she's tweeting out stuff like, uh, what did she say? She said, I want Conrad, the guy who did it, to be remembered as someone who wasn't a monster, but someone who was mentally unwell. I forgave him for what he did, and I hope I can use this situation to help raise awareness, not only for domestic I would violence break up survivors, with her. but for I would anyone struggling with, with mental illness. I would break up with her immediately, probably. Yeah. But then again, you know what? He's probably thinking her boyfriend just died. You know, I, I started thinking about that, too. What if my ex-wife died? Do I yeah. celebrate? The woman I made a baby with, dying. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I'd feel something. Yeah, you know, I yeah. would, and, and you know what I would do? I tell you, I'd call you guys and say, you know, I wish you hadn't gone that way, and I wouldn't show. And I like in front of my wife, I'm like, yeah. yep, too bad. <laughs> I think a lot of Zoomers need to hear this. Sometimes it's okay not to mourn on social media. Yeah, sometimes it's okay to keep yes. that off the internet. I don't know how many relatives I've had died since I did. Even if shows. you're a public I mean, figure. I, 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 I had my cousin died since I'd been, been well, real talk was different because he's on the show. I've had lots of people pass away since I started doing this and haven't mentioned them once, right? Because it's not my place. And, and other times I have when I thought it was appropriate, right? Especially if it's yeah. somebody like Real Hawk, somebody that you guys loved. And you, if I didn't do that, it would be fucking weird, you know? It'd be the other way. But you really don't have to like show how vulnerable you are. It's not really a good thing to show you're vulnerable to the public. Your wife, your loved ones, maybe they need to see, especially if you're a man, maybe they need to see you're a little vulnerable to know that you're feeling something. But that's not for the public. It's not their business, right? But there's such an emphasis on feeling bad for people and victimizing yourself, and there's money in it on social media. And and there's also dopamine in it, like likes and like, um, you know, my, my, my dad died and, you know, then the guy's still talking about his dad five months later because, you know, his likes went down, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or something like that, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it calls. Let's do them now. I probably should do an after right. show because I haven't done one ever. So there you go. If you have anything to say to me, um, if you think I got something wrong, now's the time to call in on Discord. Links below. All the other happy horseshit. Rip dad. Rip bookie. Rip everybody. Yeah, rip. You guys are you're closer to truth than you think. Um, and that's about it. No one wants to come in? I'll put the link in the chat. Hold yeah, on. I'll put the link in the no, chat. I'm, I'm not just <laughs> mm. Check your DMs. He really fumbled that. Let me see. He really fumbled what? <laughs> Let me see this. I don't, we'll take a look what he said before. Oh, this is the broad that he... Oh, let's say This is Melina. Oh, she's uh, oh, she's Swedish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's I. Right. She's okay looking. She's like okay. she's she's pretty cute, but like that's you know why this is this is everything Verse wants. Yeah, I know his. She's type. not drop. She's not drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, like, but I've seen way is, Swedish. Not diversity is because she's got all the features that Verse likes in a woman. Uh, so Arian, this is like it. his yeah Arian <laughs> and hopefully a, a, a Nazi supporter. This is her. Yeah, right, I'm glad Verse and Hitler share something in common. <laughs> Yeah, Eva had beautiful uh, brown eye, blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, she's good looking broad. I wouldn't kick her at. I don't know. She's really. Good. I don't know. Man. No, no, you would you would kick her out. No, she's not all right, man. She's ten. Oh, she's a ten. She's. Ah, oh, no, she's well. She's, she's well green. No, that's yeah. it. Done. She's well green. She's very green. No. She's it's fucking. No, done. That's it. Done. No. Hmm. <laughs> I, I can't believe I've, I've been called a Finian since I wore, started wearing Celtic jerseys. You believe that? <laughs> I've seen you. I've seen it at the it chat a few times. And I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I, I don't know whether to be honored. It's like if a black guy calls you the N word, you know, because most people say, ah, you're not Irish. Nah, you're not Scottish. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Now I'm getting called yeah. a Finian. I'm like, I, I, I'm, I told, I, I told you, I, I work with this guy. Um, Oh God, I can't believe I forgot his name. He's a black guy from Chicago. I worked him just before shopping, actually during, uh, when I was working at the um, uh, the movie theater. And he said this really weird thing that we're both in the army. Everybody who worked over at AFES is like in the army, you know, at some point in their career. And he says to me, 
we got along for for a good hour. We worked together. It seemed to be hit up. And he's like, look, I got one rule, all right? I don't say it. I don't hang around people who say it. I don't want to hear any N-word. Here I am. I'm like, well, I don't want to lose my job, so I don't think there's anything fucking to worry about. I'm just saying, I don't like it. I don't, I don't speak it on my own time, and I don't want to hear it from you. So I was like, I promise. <laughs> like, what a weird conversation, right? So fast forward like a year from then, um, apparently I wasn't sweeping the floors uh, um, quick enough for my buddy. And he said, nigga, come on, I gotta go! <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him, and he looks at me, he goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm like, I don't know, I feel fucking great. That's fine. Yeah, you probably complimented for it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a true story. It actually happened. And I did. I felt like a million bucks. And I went home and I listened oh. to hip-hop and, and, and drank um, um, Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> True story, true story. First, what do you got? I just can't believe that this person with one fucking leg trailer <laughs> park fucking garbage has the nerve of saying she's all right. She's are you she's fucking a, kidding she's me? Right? She's, she's attractive. She's all right. Like, she's not would, like... She's oh a 10, my, dude. She, she's a 10. She's not, right. she's not someone to go to war she, over, you know? She's cute. I would yes. kill your whole fucking family for her, man. <laughs> hey, would you yeah, go... I'm in, already halfway there, Bruce. Would you go in an open <laughs> relationship with her? <laughs> Would you go in an open? Huh? Would you go in an open relationship with her? Yeah, but if I saw any of it on video, I'd probably kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I think he's right. I think. I think Matt. This is just like an echelon of women that he knows he'll never get with or see. So he so, just ah, she's all right, fucking bitch. Well, who's hotter? Than, <laughs> like, all right, Matt. Let's 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 play with Matt. It? Who's hotter than her? Uh, fuck. Yeah, exactly. Like, Give, give me some. Well, I I can I could probably. Uh, fucking, Go ahead. Go ahead. I did. Uh, Pokemon's hotter than her. No. Uh, no. No. No way. Yeah, I think po no. Pokemon's better looking than her. No. You like you like trailer trash or what? What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I do like trailer. It's trash. not trailer trash. Well, no, yeah. I'm just saying. But I je no, I I I do like. Uh, trailer trash. Like, see, but everyone she's, says but you're she's wrong. not even trailer. Po Pokemon's like as far as looks is concerned. I think Pokemon. I girl, like girl. women with unique faces. Uh, well, she, uh, Melina's she, she, just too narrow. plain for me. I don't. I don't like blonde hair, plain face. Uh, like, see, you like so. broken, ugly looking women because you have one leg. See, it's exactly what I said. She's Brittany, too perfect, yeah, and you're not, flawed. And you not, know, there's no yeah, way you'd ever have a chance. Yeah, but Brittany Venti's hotter than Melina. Shut up! Stop. You ready for this one? You ready for this one, verse? Uh, if you uh, use this, the one from the chat, I'll kill you. Uh, I, I'm gonna. Anisa Jomha is hotter. <laughs> than no, she's not. <laughs> All right, we Where's know. the bomb? Where's the bomb? <laughs> Blow this fucker up. Get him out of here. Uh, no, I don't think. So. Brittany, Brittany's very beautiful. And I, I, mean, I know, I know. You like the girl next door look, is what you like. And he likes. She has the, like a fetal, infant, fetal, whatever the fuck I syndrome like head. Unique faces, bro. bro. The eyes wide apart makes her even prettier. She's like a pug, man. No, it's, don't say that. The hair, though, the hair is gorgeous. Come on. She's a beautiful girl. She's got. It's, See, no, it's, he, she's got. Yeah. Well, she's got I can tell you. She she likes um, um, she's a black girl that's all for um, uh, I don't know uh, ethnic. What do they call those ethnic area? I forget the fuck. Ethno no, states. No, she's not for an ethno state. But <laughs> I was trying to make a fucking right wing joke, but it, it didn't land. Brittany's fetal pretty. alcohol syndrome, yes. No, Brittany. Brittany's she actually. She doesn't. Look, I was just no, kidding. Brittany, Brittany's really pretty. She actually. Looks, All uh, right, I'm still waiting for a legitimate name. Give me a legitimate name that's more attractive. Well, I, I've given you three. Mm -hmm. uh, no, the other two were bullshit that you stole from the chat. Give me some legitimate ones. Mila Jovovich. And oh, wait, is, that the, is that the chick from Blurred Lines? No. It's a chick yeah, from the chick from Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Uh, Resident Evil. Fifth sure. element, yeah. Well, well when she name? was, um, when right, she right, right Mila bottom, Jovovich, right at the bottom, M I L L A, right at the bottom, the, the bottom search. one, click the bottom one. Oh, the, bo oh. the bottom one, the search. When bar. she was, all right, she's like, she's my age. Yeah, she's no, yeah, she's way like, too old for me. She's forty-seven. What the yeah. fuck? I mean, she's, I, I was, I was keeping with it. I was trying to. You said she's okay for me. Are we just naming all celebrities? I was thinking. Oh, all right, I'm gonna check her when she was on Joan of Arc. When she played Joan of Arc. That's right. So she's a good-looking fucking broad man. Mila Jovovich, holy shit! That's that's all right. That she's all fucking like 
kind of diked out a little bit there, but obviously it's Joan of Arc. It's fairness. All it's right. a good movie, by the way. The Messenger. It's a good flick. It's good. I like at the end of this. Maybe, maybe you appreciate because like you're you're not, you're not Catholic, so maybe you looked at it differently. But did you see the end of the movie when God's talking to her and telling her it wasn't God? It was all yeah. in your head. Y'all did it yourself. Type. It's such a fucking like that. It's when they try to make it a left wing thing. You know, right? Yeah, because you know what I like. It, you know what it, I liked it was, about just, that movie? That was so lame. Mm. You know what I liked about that movie? They featured uh, uh, Giles de Rez or something, the serial killer from back then. He's like a featured character in the movie because he was a huge part of Joan of Arc. Oh, but was he's, he? Yeah, so he's like in that movie. You know that serial? Like uh, he was like one of the first serial killers. Oh, I didn't. Know uh, that. Yeah, we talked about it before. Oh, Giles de Rez. Uh, oh, did he? he de Rez. Mila Jovovich. G-I-L-S-D. Mila Jovovich, one of the best looking women ever lived. So, somebody said Illuminati. <laughs> yes. Fuck off. <laughs> In the chat. Okay, I'm not Mila. going that. No. Mila. No. no she's, Mila. Like if, she's like if. Mila Jovovich. Fine. <laughs> fine. She's like if Melina ate Mila. Mila. Yeah. Mm. yeah. She's fine. She's my age. She's good looking. I love her in the Resident Evil movies. Love her in it. Oh, she was great in those movies. It's, she kind of ruined movies her. Are bad, but I love her. Kind of like for the first one's okay. First one's pretty good. All right, give me give me your next your next name, Matt. I, I really want to hear you defend this. Uh, Kiwi Sunset. Who's that? Some e girl on Twitter shit too. No, she's like twenty. She's like twenty one. Dude, fuck off! No way. <laughs> what? I fucking hate you. Kiwi, <laughs> Kiwi Sunset, and then yeah. go to Images. Careful googling that. Yeah, yeah. Careful googling that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. No, I'm on Images right now. There's nothing. There's nothing. Bad okay. Here. Images. Toxic dome in the chat. Betty White. I mean, I guess you can go to her Instagram. That's probably safe. Either one. No, no dude. No, she's. She looks too much like a child. She looks like a woman. Oh, okay, Tommy. That's what, what the that's fuck? What Matt, no, that's but what I don't mean that. In, I don't Tommy, mean. What the fuck? I don't mean that in that way. She looks like a fucking girl. Let me let me guess. Your next person you like more than her? It's April O'Neil, right? The sixteen-year-old. I don't know who that is. Okay, like From my teenage, hands are up. Teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I was thinking of the other April O'Neil that's on another website. <laughs> yeah. God damn. This is a fucking. This is a trap, like, bro. Are, are, we, are, we go, are we go? Are we going down stop that route now? Stop what about uh, so what about hard. the girl? What about the girl who's uh got Tourette's? She's cute. I, she's she's hotter than Melina. Oh, oh no, name. she's stop! You're just doing this to make me angry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, she on head. She on head's hotter than Melina. She on head's hot. Hold on a second. Have you seen her nude? She's not as hot as Melina. Come oh on. really? Uh, she has a nude no, picture. Come on. She's got a few. I, I don't Does think she? they're. I don't think uh, they're like. Hold you on. know what I mean. No, I'm not putting. Know. I'm not going to put it on. <laughs> like, no, no. no. Oh, you don't have the screen up. Sorry, I had a heart attack. No, 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 no. Jesus! I, I don't Lassie. think those were put uh, out. No, like, no, those oh. were those were those were stolen. Those that were stolen. is Dude, perfect. <laughs> she's looking she's I don't think she's as hot as I don't know. I, th I, th I th I'm kind of going no, on versus not. hot. That is perfect. Jesus, Tommy is gooning right now. I'm allowed to look shit. at women who fuck off. Uh, Justin Minx. I think Justin Minx is hotter than. No, that. she's a yeah. old, dirty Irish girl. <laughs> I like dirty oh. Irish girls. Yeah, Dude, so. what? Really she doesn't have a black eye in one of the videos. Yeah, that's my kind of girl. <laughs> that's what she's told. He likes he likes yes. damaged he likes damaged broken women. Yeah, I, yeah, I am a damaged broken Melina, man. Melina, exactly. <laughs> See, it's, it's, we're going full circle. Melina is too built together. He's like, I know I have no fucking chance. I'm a damaged one legged fucking retard. No way. Stamp her out. It's not happening. Uh, she that's pretty fine. I don't know if she's better looking than that other girl, but she's really good. Looking. She is, but. Mm. She, she went into the 30s and she still looks good. There's this girl, uh, e girl on Twitter. I think her name is like Jisoo or something. She just made like a, a bot that like people can date, like uh, that has her like uh, the, the, like has her AI. So it's like what she would text and stuff. Jisoo did? Yeah, Jisoo. I think her name's Jisoo. I can't. Yeah, the I, same I... Jisoo from, yeah, right? Uh, same Jisoo from what? Is it Jisoo? Well, there's, only or... one, there's only one Jisoo. It's the artist with the whole zero thing. No, 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 no. I, okay. I forgot what her name is. I forgot what her name is. Sushi. Is it Sushi? Sushi. Uh, sushi so you don't like white... Push... It's, it's kind of, you don't like traditional blonde white girls is like what I'm getting from you. I don't, no. 
Why don't you just say that instead of lying to yourself? <coughs> he likes Aryans. He it's not what. Uh, yeah, Susu. Susu is her name. Susu. Oh, Verse wants to yeah, date yeah, the yeah, female yeah, version yeah. of wait, him because he's such she's a not, No, no, no. Stop. Yeah, yeah stop yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, she's on. Yeah. I fucking. Bro, I hate have you, you seen that rack? Come on. Come on. Dude, hey, I see, hate you. I see energy. Hey, ladies, this is the way guys talk all the time. <laughs> this is it. This okay, is it. I just sent it to you in your DMs. This chick used to do OnlyFans and stuff, but now she's a YouTuber. He's saying that she is hotter than Melina, which is just not. I think so. Reaction. All right, here we go. Abby Blackburn, brand new. Uh, oh, why is that mixed up? <laughs> not hotter than Melina. <laughs> I, I meant I no chance. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Abby. Abby Blackburn. Um, nope. Is Jade? Don't wow, Jade, Jade, Jade from London. Thanks so much. Pass. Um, stop. <laughs> Nesquik, Mexican. Um, Smash. This all missed. This all missed. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. You know, I'm gonna start this again. Abby Blackford, Cody, everyone. Pass. Mexican. Smash. <laughs> Smash. Nesquik, Opeg, Peck and Pun, Smash. Pickling, Smash. <laughs> Reddle <Smash>. views. <laughs> Pass. And Tommy sees cat. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? And uh, Irish hugs and kisses. Irish, Pass. thanks so much. <laughs> what about yeah. Abby Shapiro? I I think that's she's hotter than the. I like Jewish women. Smash. I think Jewish Smash. women are hot. Which one? Okay, I know what you're really looking for. Okay, ah, <laughs> you goddamn trying right. To, trying to get out of the trailer park, huh? Yeah, yeah. You like the Aryans? I like the Jews. You like the bad. well? I'm on the winning side of that battle <laughs> so far. Yeah, 1948. All right, things changed. All right. Well, I have. I got a Jewish she's, girl for you. She's beautiful. No, I, she is. What? But she's not better than Melina, yeah. though. You see this? No, you rack? have to go to images. You That's have to go a to good images. Jewish no, no, girl. No, no, rack. What do you say there? What do you? What no, do you this is after. This is after a reduction, Tommy. Go to images. Oh, she she had her. Oh yeah, yeah. Why would any woman do that to themselves? Uh, go to images and you'll find out. Hold on. Oh, she had tiny There's... tits, huh? No. No. no it was the no. other other way around. Before, yeah, let's go before. <laughs> That'll do it. She had time. Uh, let's just say her horn was going off as she was trying to drive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that? Oh, oh, she had re oh reduction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh. go to images. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! Get out of Reddit. This is bad news. Get out of here. Back it up. He's not showing it on screen. We're good, uh, but that's I, not I a good true. idea. No, we can show this, can't we? Yes. Yeah, just but just uh, yeah, we can well, show Reddit's that. not the safest place to look. Yeah, we're not even, scrolling just, down. Just, or go, anything. just, just go, go back. further. Just go further. Than that. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! How many kids? I mean, she could feed three at once. I mean, if you're <laughs> gonna get knocked out by a pair of tits, <laughs> get knocked out <laughs> in style. See, but see, the, these aren't even the best pick. Go back. You have to go back and just go to images. I'm telling you. All right. Uh, before yeah i remember uh, dude i remember when uh, this first broke out where everyone's like wait he has a sister yeah and you have to go she, she had big boobies she, jesus oh yeah god almighty what a rack <laughs> jewish women have great <laughs> <things. laughs> is ben shapiro's sister vaccinated what <laughs> that's gonna be some weird questions. shit in here yeah, that's what blew her tits up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, all right. This is um. It helps. It helps if you just do Abby Shapiro instead of no, Ben Shapiro's that, sister, because then you yeah. get a weird mix. Of no, <laughs> this, this proves your point. I'm trying to look on the, yeah. on the thing. Yeah, I'm looking around, making sure we don't got anything. Yeah, is your... yeah. This is the one with the song. Look at that's like too much. I could see why she got rid. I dated a chick that had super big knockers, and she saved every <laughs> dime she had to get them reduced. Because it was giving her back pains, and they thought causing migraines. So I wonder if that got cured. I don't know. That's the girl I got I, in trouble with. <laughs> I, I, I've known a few people who's had it done, and they have said that it's purely because of like back pain and stuff. And uh, yeah, and she was getting like, migraines. They feel so much better when she got migraines. She could be down for a whole week. So, Oof. but they had to prove to the insurance company, and they had to come up with their own money that she would benefit from it because it was like I guess it was the science was kind of soft on that. Like, I think nowadays they would have gave it to her, but back then the, in the nineties they didn't. Yeah, you know? I think with the over here, um, like you could be waiting years and years, and like you have to prove so much. She had to how, do that how, too. How would be your typical week? Whereas like over, like she likes now we're talking about health insurance earlier on. Yeah. Um, likes of 
you could just go private here, Tommy, and get it done tomorrow like that. Yeah. And that's you. That's it. Your back's fixed. Mm. All right. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. I guess we're going to... Uh, uh, I'll put up in the after show. Uh, probably a quick one, though. I feel like going out. Uh, let's do it right now. Put it in. Stage. Probably should have doing these ahead of time, huh? Uh, after show. Yeah, we're going on just about right after this. I don't know what we're doing, though. I'm not having... I don't really... I don't have a thought in my head. And uh, there it is for all you members and shit. So I hope to see you in there. Uh, Kalia's mom smash. TKO rising pass. Uh, Marlikin smash. TKO rising smash. Critical shotgun smash. Um, Rexon smash. Menden smash. Studio smash. Ganji smash. Ninja style smash. Goth boy pass. Uh, Big oops pass. <laughs> Big Stormio oops. smash. Mm. Uh, Gamage elite pass. <laughs> Goodbye. Sven smash. <laughs>